Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the iPhone 10, the default ringtone called Reflection. Okay, so here's a quick preview of what it sounds like on the piano, okay, so. <laughs> So, here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and learn this awesome ringtone. Okay, slowly, step by step, and yeah, we're gonna break it up into four parts so it's easier to learn, okay? So, it is quite fast, so what you'll need to do is practice each of the parts slowly and then build up the speed, okay? So the first part, right hand, starts on the G here, so middle C is here for reference, we go up to the G here, okay? So it goes G, up to C, up to E flat, up to the high B flat, down to the C, up to E flat, down to G. Yes, so those are the notes, the seven notes for the right hand for this first part. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this, it goes G, up to C, up to E flat, up to the high B flat, down to the C, up to E flat, down to G. And that's the right hand for this first part, okay? So once you get that right hand, left hand, we have four notes for the left hand. So we have, uh, starting on the low C here, so middle C here, we'll go down an octave to this C. So it goes C, and then up to the middle C twice, and then down to the lower C again. So those are the four notes for the left hand for this first part. One more time, so it goes like this. So lower C, middle C twice, and back to the lower C. Okay, so the two hands get off for this first part goes like this. So goes left hand starts 12, right hand comes in, C and C together, high B flat and C together, E flat and the lower C together, like that. One more time, so it goes like this, here, together, 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 and that's the first part, okay? So after you get this first part, let's now move in on to the second part. Second part after the G goes to, up to the C, up to G, down to E flat, F, G down to E flat down to the G. And that's the second part for the right hand. One more time for the second part. So you go C up to G, E flat, F, G, E flat down to G. And that is the right hand for this second part. Okay, so once you get that left hand, we have two notes for the second part. We go to the G here, just below middle C, and hold that and down to the lower C for two counts okay so that's the second note as well okay so the two notes pretty simple just G and C the two hands together goes like this so it goes C and G together F and C together like that so that's the second part one more time so it goes together together just like that okay so so far the two parts we've learned will be played back to back slowly like this check it out that okay and that's that moving on to the third part now after this G goes up an octave to the higher G down to the lower octave G again up to C D E flat up to the high B flat down to the lower octave B flat D so this third part is the hardest part because it's very jumpy very stretchy okay so one more time because so like this starting on the G here so G down an octave to the lower G up to C D E flat, stretch up to the high B flat, down an octave to the B flat, D, like that, okay, like that. Like that, that's the right hand. Left hand, four notes for the left hand here for this third part, the four notes are, okay, starting on the C below middle C, and then up to the octave middle C, down to G, up to B flat, like that. One more time, so it goes lower C, octave above middle C, the, the normal middle C, and then G, B flat. Okay, so yeah, I guess this third part will be the hardest in terms of right hand jumping and left hand is the most changing like throughout all the parts. Okay, here we go. So, so this is how we put the two hands together for this third part. G and C together. C and C together. E flat and G together. B flat and B flat together. Like that. One more time, so it goes like this. Together, 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 together. Like that, and that's the third part. So back to back, the three parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. So it goes. Like that. Okay, now moving on to the fourth and last part before the whole ringtone uh, repeats. Right and continues goes on the fourth part. E flat, G, F, G. 
easy part. I need four notes for the right hand. This is the easiest part out of all the four parts. Okay, one more time, it goes E flat, G, F, G. And those are the notes for the fourth part for the right hand. Left hand's super easy as well. Two notes, it goes C and then G. Simple stuff, right? This is the octave below middle C, C, okay? So it goes C and G, that's it. The two notes for the left hand is that. Okay, the two hands together for this four part goes like this, E flat and C together. After G, G by itself, right continues, and then by itself like that. Okay, one more time for this four part, so it's together, here. And that's it. So back to back, all the four parts would be played like this. Check it out, this goes. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. So yeah, okay, just like that. It's really, really nice. Once you get the speed up, it will be pretty nice, okay? Yeah, so you build the speed up and then you go something like this. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson on this iPhone X default ringtone called Reflection. Yes, okay, go ahead, check out the rest of my channel. I've done a lot of these other iPhone um, piano covers and tutorials as well. So if you wanna learn them for yourself, go ahead and yeah, learn it for yourself. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So enjoy your time around my channel and as for now, see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.